Hello everyone, it is digital host AJ Wiest welcoming you back to 48 Now. Star Wars Night is coming to Joe Davis Stadium this weekend, August 17th, and today I am joined with Chad Emerson. He is the managing director with the business operations with Huntsville City FC. Chad, thank you so much for joining in today. Yeah, thank you for having us. We're uh, looking forward to a lot of young Padawans being at the match on Saturday. <laughs> That's right, and hopefully I can be one of those little Padawans for sure. <laughs> Uh, but first, talk a little bit about Star Wars. Uh, what is it about Star Wars that just attracts so many people? Oh my, I just remember when I was a kid. I was born in 1972. I, uh -huh. It's one of the first movies I remember going to see at the theater with the scroll and a galaxy far, far away. So I think it covers so many generations with the new material as well as the original movies that um, I just feel like when someone comes to Star Wars night, it could be a grandparent, a parent, or a kiddo, and they all have a Star Wars memory. That is very true. It just lives throughout the generations, um, which is super cool. And I'm already, like, I talk to younger kids um, who are, like, I don't know, 15, 16, and they will, I will ask them, like, maybe their favorite Star Wars episode because yep. I grew up with the prequels. Not the, not the good uh, 4, 5, and 6. Those are the best, but... Um, but they're saying things I've never even heard of. And I'm like, what Star Wars is that? So, <laughs> it's Rogue One or yeah, something like it, that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or it's um, the TV shows that yeah. they've came out. So it really has lived throughout the generations. And it's, um, it's as, as strong as ever. So that's super cool. Um, so how many years have y'all been doing Star Wars Night? Is this the first year? Yeah, this is actually our very first Star Wars Night. Um, this year we've really, we talk about in addition to the excitement of a soccer match, what else can we do to draw fans that they're going to connect with the experience? Mm -hmm. And Star Wars was one of those opportunities. So, you know, while the players won't be using lightsabers, obviously, <laughs> uh, we're still gonna have a lot of elements of Star Wars, whether it be music, whether it be visuals on the Jumbotron. There may be even some, there will be some characters there encouraging fans to dress up. So we really want them to enjoy the match we got their fingers crossed that the boys in blue win again. But regardless of what happens, they've had to an opportunity and evening to enjoy and relive their Star Wars memories. Very, very cool. And um, you said you're inviting fans to dress up as their favorite Star Wars characters. Um, I believe I saw that you're selling special merchandise for Star Wars night. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so um, we're gonna have a couple of, um, we have a, a light sword and a bubble blaster, which if you've seen Han Solo or Luke Skywalker, you probably know what I'm talking yes. about. And they'll be available for kiddos of all ages um, to purchase and enjoy during the match. So we hope to see a lot of um, kids and, and maybe adult kids walking around with their bubble blasters throughout the match. Very cool. Uh, man, I, I bet the parents are excited about that after the game. <laughs> well, one of the fun things is when you walk out of the uh, when the players walk out of the tunnel, we usually have some theme music, uh -huh. and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the theme music uh, this Saturday night at 7 p.m. is a little bit different than our typical theme. I think it's going to have a, a certain Star Wars flair to it. Okay. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see what it <laughs> is. It's exciting. Uh, Chad, do you have a personal favorite Star Wars character or movie? I don't know. I, I still, Luke Skywalker, you know, as being a, a, classic. a young kiddo back in those days, and um, Luke, I mean, there's so many great ones, um, but I really, Luke and Obi-Wan are probably the two that uh, I just really love. And of course, you love Yoda, too. I mean, who can ever? Of course. You know, yeah. Not love Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> well, very cool. Uh, can you talk about um, where the proceeds are going? I believe I saw they're going to Downtown Rescue Mission. Can you speak a little bit about the Rescue Mission and everything they're doing here in the community? Yeah, part of this... Um, theme night is to give back, right? Provide a fun entertainment experience, but also uh, bring in new guests and give back. So a certain percentage of the proceeds uh, from the match will go to the downtown rescue mission. We thought that was a great fit because, I mean, they're doing some really important work, um, not just feeding people, but helping people, you know, learn new skills and really advance their lives. So we're excited to partner with the downtown rescue mission. 
Well, very awesome. Um, can you speak about some of the events that you guys have already put on uh, this season, um, like similar to Star Wars Night, and maybe some events that you're looking forward to? Yeah, uh, probably our, our most popular night for the last two years has been Space Night, mm -hmm. where we work with Marshall Space Flight Center and a lot of the uh, space industry companies. Um, so people love Space Night. So this is actually, and that was at the end of July. So less than a month later, we have Star Wars Night. So it's almost this very Huntsvillian theme yes. of, of uh, space-themed evenings. And then on September 4th, uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m., we're super, super excited that the first time in 25 years since 1999, a major league sports team is going to play a game in Huntsville, and that's our parent club, Nashville Soccer Club the MLS squad, and they're going to come down and play Huntsville City FC, us, our, our boys in blue. So it's going to be a really special uh, evening. Uh, we're calling it the Space Cowboy Match. Yes. And uh, <laughs> kind of a nice connection there. I like and that. so that'll be on September 4th, and we've really tried to give an opportunity for Huntsvillians not just have to go to a different city to see a Major League Sports team, but to see a Major League Sports team, you know, meet the players, get autographs, selfies, right here in the Rocket City. Very cool. And I'd imagine a lot of the Huntsville City fan base is also Nashville uh, FC fan base as well, um, being the parent team there. So how many are you expecting for there to be at that event? Are you expecting sellouts? Yeah, we hope to fill up the stadium. Uh, yeah. we're, we're doing general admission for this game. So you buy a ticket and you know, first come, first serve. So if you want to get a seat behind the bench, or we're also having special tickets for youth uh, soccer players and uh, coaches. We really want we want this to be an opportunity where price isn't a barrier mm -hmm. to having a really special major league sports um, team experience right here in Huntsville. Again, it's been a quarter of a century in the making, I guess. <laughs> yes, exactly. You don't have to tr travel the two or yeah. three hours to go see a professional event. That is super cool. Um, can you, for anyone who hasn't been to like an HCFC event, um, what would you say like is the driving factor? Why should they um, go see Huntsville City? Yeah, I think what people really love about um, our HCFC matches is uh, it's a 45 minute first half. Clock never stops. Yes. There's no timeouts. There's a little thing called extra time at the end, but it's usually just a couple minutes. 15 minute halftime, 45 minute second half. So it's fast pace. Mm -hmm. this, the the um, soccer never stops. The clock never stops. In fact, so much so that three of the four concession areas we designed, the Stadium Architect design, so that you can watch the game while you're waiting in line and making your order because, again, there aren't you know a lot of dead time in our games. And what's really cool about our league, which is Major League Next Pro, yeah. um, is that none of the games end in ties. So if it is a tie at the end of regulation, the teams immediately proceed to a penalty kick shootout. And uh, so that's even faster. Yeah. There. So yeah. no timeouts, no stop clocks, and no ties. So it's a fast paced, high octane um, sports experience. Very, very awesome. And can you just describe the energy? What makes like soccer so different from other sports as far as like the energy, the stadium energy goes? I think it's, I mean, it's the world's game. It's, it's mm. probably, if not the most popular, one of the most popular sports in the world. And what that means is there's so many different perspectives on soccer. So some people are huge fans and they're coming in there and they're, you know, yelling at the other team, yeah. getting on the refs, so, you know, excited about it. And there are other folks who are just like there to enjoy the experience and they recognize that, wow, there's always action going on. The ball goes out of bound, they immediately get the ball, throw it back in. The ball goes out of bounds behind the goal, they immediately get the ball, kick it back in. Um, our league actually has special rules so that, you know, there, some soccer leagues have a, a reputation of kind of like exaggerating injuries and, you know, uh -huh. as a delay <laughs> tactic. Here, if, unless it's a serious injury, the player has to get up right away or they go off on the sideline to get uh, medical review, which means your team is down a player for a period of time. So mm -hmm. um, that's why I think people really love it because people love things that are fast paced, high energy. Um, and so it really lends to the fact that you can join, you can come to a 7 p.m. game and you can tell exact, tell the babysitter, if you don't bring the kids, which the kids will love it too, uh, you can tell the babysitter exactly when you'll be home. 
Exactly. There's no de there's no unnecessary delays. Like the clock just keeps running, which is super nice to plan out things after the event as well. So. And we have a fantastic beer garden, um, which uh, and there's a great plaza next to it. So we put games out there. Uh, there's live music before the match. Uh, Yellowhammer has there, it's a Yellowhammer beer garden, so they have great beer there. Cornhole, different games, and so what we found some people are just looking for a really nice night out. So yes. you can go get the beer garden tickets and they're something like 10 or $12, but the cost of going to a movie, it's beautiful outdoors, we have a lot of action, stuff like that. So even if you're not you know, a huge soccer fan, if you like an entertainment experience that's very approachable, um, we think you'd enjoy one of our matches. Very cool. Well, Chad, where can people find tickets to HCFC? Yeah, for Star Wars night, for September 4th, any match, you can go to Huntsville City, fc.com. We also are on Instagram, uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, I guess you yep. say, yep. <laughs> uh, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So um, you can sign up for our e-newsletter when you go to Huntsville City FC. That's going to get you right in your inbox, conveniently, all the information in addition to the soccer matches, to the friendly matches against Nashville, and all the other great events that happen at the, the new Joe Wicks Family Field. Very cool. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. I want to thank you so much for coming in today. And if maybe I didn't ask something that you'd like to add, feel free. But again, thank you so much. And definitely looking forward to Star Wars night. That is for sure. May the force be with you. May the force be with you.